if I had to say my proudest accomplishment, um, it would definitely have to be my Eagle Scout project. Uh, my project involved restoring this Revolutionary War cannon that we found in the uh, Nathan Lester house up the street. Uh, we brought it back to my house. I restored it, uh, and I, I made a new concrete base for it to sit on, and I installed it at the Gales Ferry Memorial Parklet uh, down near the cemetery. So now it's standing there on the war memorial, um, uh, contributing to that monument. Um, I definitely have to say my parents, and I know that sounds like a easy answer, but they, they've they honestly been my biggest influence because they've, they, they, they've pushed me real hard to just establish a good, worth eth good work ethic, to just push myself to my limits, but not necessarily over my limits. They, they tell me to understand what I can and cannot do and to simply just try my best. They, they've been my rock, they've been my support beam throughout my entire high school career and I don't know what I would have done without that level of support that they gave me. The worst thing I missed out on was just, well, the summer really. My, during the summer I, I'm involved with a lot of uh, scouting programs, uh, Boy Scouts of course, also Sea Scouts, so a lot more like maritime uh, focused activities. So normally I would go to a summer camp called uh, Camp Yagu over in Rhode Island and that has been a yearly tradition for, well, ever as long as I can remember back to joining my first Boy Scout troop uh, like almost a little over, or a little under a decade ago, sorry. But an another thing being um, this annual trip I have my Sea Scout ship called Long Cruise. We take our sailboats, we go out for one to two weeks, and we just kind of enjoy the coastline. We just enjoy, you know, visiting different places up, up and around the uh, Long Island Sound. And that wasn't possible just because of COVID. And, you know, that was, it, it's been such an experience uh, ever since I moved here to go out and do those things, whereas normally I wouldn't have been able to back, you know, back then when I was living on the west side of the state. So having to miss those, that really just broke my heart as well as my sisters, because we would go out and do these adventures together, and that was honestly something we missed during the summer. The, the best takeaway I can have from just this awful, awful set of years is that, you know, all these bad things happening around me at the end of the day, if I'm able to persist through it, then, you know, I, I'm just set. I, <sighs> obstacles like these, they're, they're all major. Everybody experiences them in different ways. And I can certainly say that I've been affected pretty hard by this pandemic, but, you know, even, even through all the stressors that dealing with this pandemic and all of its, like, uh, worries and fears has, and dealing with all the things I have to miss out. You know, I, 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 I didn't give up. Is what I'm trying to say here. I, even, even though I wanted to, I just kept pushing, and, you know, I realized that, that that's just a part of me that I can, do what I put my mind to, even through these just absolutely terrible circumstances. It was the first time I ever went sailing uh, with, my, with my Sea Scout ship. The first time I ever shoved off the marina in the New London Harbor. It was just, it, it, was, it was magical, it was entrancing, just being able to, you know, go out and have the wind take me up and down uh, the harbor. And it, I don't know, it was just kind of the start of an adventure in, in of its own. So my plan at the moment is to attend Three Rivers Community College and earn an associate's degree in accounting to then uh, transfer credits over to another college to get a uh, bigger degree. I'm hoping for a CPA in accounting as well.